Red Bull want Alex Albon back in the fold, or at least they want full control over where he ends up after 2025. So Alex Albon has been in the news quite a bit over the last little while, and during his time at Williams. Of course, his form with his new team and his return to Formula 1 has been excellent, and it has put him on the map again for a potential role in a big front-running team on the grid. Now, we know with Lewis Hamilton parting ways with Mercedes at the end of 2024, there's a huge vacant seat being opened up at Mercedes in 2025, and many people, including myself, believe that Alex Albon would be the perfect fit for the seat at Mercedes. However, James Vowles then came out and clarified that Alex Albon is still signed with Williams through the 2025 season and is not available until 2026. Now we've heard that Red Bull has made a claim to have first refusal over where Alex Albon goes. Now what this first right of refusal or first option, whichever you'd like to call it, really means is that Red Bull would essentially have control over where Alex Albon ends up. So even if they don't bring him back to the Red Bull team, they could block any move to a competitor such as Mercedes or Ferrari or any other big teams that could be a real threat to Red Bull on the grid. And we know that Sergio Perez's contract with Red Bull is ending at the conclusion of the 2024 season, so there's going to be another huge seat available on the grid in 2025, this time at Red Bull. However, as James Vowles already stated, Alex Albon is still signed to Williams for 2025. So it doesn't sound like Red Bull is too interested in bringing him back just yet, but they are interested in Alex Albon's services in 2026 when that Williams deal concludes. Now, obviously, we all know Alex Albon already had a stint at Red Bull, and it didn't really go so well. Only a couple of podiums never really challenged Max Verstappen at the front, although no one really has. It's quite hard to do that. Alex Albon's first stint with Red Bull wasn't too great. However, his resurgence at Williams has really, really put him on the map and has had Red Bull sort of do a complete 180 on how they feel about Alex Albon. Now they feel that he'd be much better suited for a role with the big team. With that being said though, would Alex Albon actually want to go back into the Red Bull family? Of course, with Red Bull launching an inquiry into the contract, they clearly want him but it didn't really go so well for him the first time around and they obviously ended up dropping him and eventually kicking him out of the team completely. Now he's with a Mercedes back team in Williams. So of course the prospect of driving for this team again is huge and now especially that they are the front running team, it could be very enticing. However, Albon could still potentially have a sour taste in his mouth the way he was dismissed from Rebel the first time, and maybe he feels that he'll just be playing second field for Stappen again, and he won't really get any real chances to really challenge for wins or championships in the future. We should also point out that it isn't a guarantee that Rebel is going to let Perez walk at the end of 2024. Just because his contract is coming to a close, doesn't mean they won't re-sign him. Yes, he hasn't really been any serious threat to Max Verstappen, but Red Bull honestly doesn't really want that. It's going very smoothly for them right now. They are locking up drivers and constructors championships. They don't really need Perez fighting with Verstappen. However, if the rest of the field is going to be catching up this next season and the seasons after that, they will need somebody who is more on par with Verstappen. And now with Albon's newfound resurgence and new form, this could be the perfect time for him to go there. However, whether or not Albon actually wants to go back there and be the number two again, or maybe he thinks he can actually mount a serious challenge for Stappen this time around, we're really not sure, and of course this is all speculation just now. All we know is that Red Bull is very interested in having him back in the family. However, it does sound like Mercedes is still very interested in potentially giving Albon a better role one year sooner, where he could maybe fight to be a legitimate number one driver at a championship contending team. But we'll just have to keep monitoring the situation and see where this goes. All we know right now is that yes, Red Bull are interested in bringing Albon back into the fold. However, he has many different options as well as his own current team really doesn't want him leaving before the end of his contract. We will just have to see where this ends up going guys. Make sure you're subscribed and like these videos and we'll see you next time on Racing Direct for all the updates.